Hey, hey, we're Saints. Father Chris here. Welcome to our Crucifixion live stream today. Glad to have you beautiful people with us. I'm walking around in the backyard and I'm going to share some things with you. I don't usually talk about like my own issues. Um, I'm very lucky. I don't have too many. Thank God for that. But lately I've been feeling um, just not right. Dissonance inside. Like not anxiety in the in the sense of needing professional help, but anxious for sure. I mean, like things are just I, I've had this feeling like things are just a little bit out of whack. Um, and I think that there are six parts, really, of a person's life, six main parts. Your mind, how you think, what you think about, you know, that kind of stuff. Your relationship to God, um, your relationship to other human beings, your physical health, how you perform or how you're doing in your work life, and also, most importantly, perhaps, how you serve other people. And when, when people have all six parts out of whack, it's a mess. I mean, you, you know that, you can feel it sometimes people have um, a couple of the parts that are that are aligned and doing well but but when we get all six parts right um, I find that really it leads us to a, an exceptional exceptional life and like I said I'm gonna share with you some things like I have my, my six parts are you know some of them are really out of whack like first and foremost my mind has been hasn't been clear part of it is you know the the dissonance that, that I'm feeling is because of all the chaos in the world whether it be Israel and Palestine or Russia and Ukraine or you know just the chaos in the world I mean it's it's I just feel this sense of anxiety over like what the hell's going on with this world and how do we fix it um, you know I have obviously as a man of, uh, of faith I, I try to stay you know in God's Word but I haven't really been like you know really diving into it partly because of the fourth part of my life my work um, it's been consumed with not silly things, but I'm not focused on my one thing because we're learning new, you know, new ways to use social media. We're learning marketing. We're learning, you know, new technology for our filming and all this kind of stuff. And it's it's important, but it's distracting from my reading and my writing and my studying. And therefore, I really haven't spent a lot of time in the Word of God. Um, my physical health, I feel just gross. Not sick, but like that's self-inflicted I mean I've been drinking too much alcohol and smoking too many cigars and I definitely have not been eating right um, too much sugar and carbohydrates and those things don't work well for me I don't I don't really um, eat that stuff I try to stay away from it but lately I've just been just gluttonous and all that kind of stuff and thank God at least the 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 part with my relationships with my bride and my girls and people around me um, are great so like I have you know that part and my my part of, of serving people in line but the other four just kind of got out of whack and I thought about them like enough so I started thinking and, and spending a lot of time how the hell am I gonna fix this so I came up with a plan for myself and I'm gonna tell you what I did you know just to get some of those parts that were off back online and I came up with something like if I can get all six parts of my life moving in the right direction my, my mind my relationship to God, my relationship with other people, including loved ones or people just in the world, my work, my physical health, and my service to others. If I can get those parts right, and even even just moving in the right direction, things are gonna change. I gotta tell you, I made a plan. I just sat down, I spent a lot of time and I wrote it out, and um, here's what I did. This morning I got up early, and after I made my cup of coffee, I just went into my backyard and I sat quietly. No social media, no news. I didn't look at the internet, didn't open my computer, didn't turn on my phone. I just sat there in the quiet. Um, and I was trying to eliminate all the noise, you know, just that we are inundated with in life. Um, and I spent just about 20 minutes, you know, getting some sun, soaking up the vitamin D, but I had quiet and it was awesome. Um, then I, you know, said my prayers, which was somehow realigning, recentering. Then, I spent about 20 minutes reading Ezekiel. I'm really high on Ezekiel right now. So, but the point, I, I read scripture and I just did it quietly. I didn't, I didn't play with anything, right? Like I no social, like I said, no socials, nothing. I just sat there and I spent that time and I, it was, it was good, good for me, good for my head, good for my, my connection to God. And, and then I went outside, uh, I have a gym at the house and I worked out like a wild banshee. I mean, I'm, I'm probably still a little sweaty from it, you know, like, I mean, it was, it was a good workout. Um, I went to exhaustion, right? So like all of a sudden, I feel even as I'm filming this better than I did an hour ago because I'm trying to align my life, to get all six parts of my life right. Uh, I don't know that ever I will be perfect with them. I mean, who does, right? Whoever gets perfect and we're not, maybe not even supposed to, but I am working to get those six parts right. How do I get my mind right so that I don't get lost, you know, like I said at the beginning, the, the dissonance of the chaos in the world. 
how do I get right with God, right? Like, how do I get to that point where I'm listening to his word, I'm trying to live his word. I mean, you know, we spend a lot of time teaching how to understand the word of God so we can live it. Um, I want to make sure my relationships are right, that, that my marriage is healthy, my relationship with my children, with my spiritual children, with you warrior saints, that it's healthy. Um, I want to be healthy, right? And I want to make sure that the work I do produces good fruit, right? So that I'm not just running around aimlessly, but that I'm focused and I eliminate stuff that gets in the way so that in the final analysis, I am able to do the best that I can to help another person. And I got to tell you, as I said earlier, when, when some of those parts are in line, it, we feel good. When all of them are out of whack, we feel pretty terrible. But once we start to realign them and get them all moving in the right direction, I mean, it's, I'm telling you guys, it's huge. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. Um, and I'm, I'm really glad I sat down and did this little plan. I mean, we, I call it a battle plan because, you know, I'm, I want to win this war within me. I mean, really the fight is, it's in here. It's not out there. Thank God I don't live in Gaza, right? So I don't have to have an actual fight between Palestinians and Israelis. You get it. It's my fights in here and I want to get it right. And this battle plan helped me do that. Um, and the more I thought about it, I was like, oh, it would be a shame of me not to share that with the world and some people may not like it some people may not find any value in it and that's fine i mean that's that's not my choice um but i'm gonna put it out there so I, I, we're working to put out um a six-part battle plan so you can get all six parts of life right so keep your eyes and ears peeled stay tuned for that kind of stuff um i love you guys it's, i hope you have a great day um, i hope we can we can continue this conversation about winning the war within us so that we might get all all of us might get all parts of our lives right so we're on the way moving to good stuff love you i'll be back tomorrow as always keep walking on the way of the warrior saint